Today, friend, we're going to learn how mindfulness empower us. Let's see how mindfulness helps us better our life and make us feel calm and peace. Imagine your mind is like a busy playground. Kids running everywhere, making noise, jumping on everyone. Sometimes it's hard to focus, right? Maybe you wish you could learn better. Feel okay even when you're sad and make friends smile. There's a special kind of magic that can help with all that. It's called mindfulness. And it's like a hidden superpower inside you. Think of mindfulness like a special hat that makes your mind calm and quiet. It helps you see things clearly like looking through a giant magnifying glass. You can focus better on your daily work, even when things are tricky. No more getting mad at silly things. You can choose to be kind and patient, just like a superhero. But mindfulness isn't just for you. It's like having a magic wand. That makes the world a bit brighter. Maybe you can share a toy with a friend, help someone who's lost, or even make someone laugh with a silly joke. You might not be able to fly or shoot arrow, but you can make smiles happen everywhere you go. Stay tuned. Because in the next few minutes, we'll reveal the secrets of mindfulness. It's amazing benefits. And how you can start practicing it today. Get ready to feel calmer. Kinder and stronger than ever before. Your superhero journey starts now. Friend, click the button and subscribe this channel Seeds of Wisdom Stories and join us and let's make the world a happier place. One smile at a time. Mindfulness helps you calm down. See things clearly and choose how you react. instead of letting feelings control you. You'll be able to focus on your daily work and even manage stress like a Zen master. But there's more. Mindfulness isn't just about you, Wong. It's about making the world a brighter place. One kind act at a time. Imagine offering a warm smile to a stranger. Helping a classmate in need. Or even spreading joy with a little act of generosity. You might not change the whole world, but you can create sunshine wherever you go. Mindfulness is the practice of training our attention to become clear, present, and unmoved. It's not about emptying the mind or achieving some superpower. Ah, uh, it's about gently bringing our awareness to the present moment. Without judgment or expectation. This simple practice, however, holds large power. It empowers us in countless ways helping us navigate the difficulties of life with greater clarity, 
calmness, and strength. Let's explore some of the key ways mindfulness empowers us. 1. Freedom from suffering. Buddhism teaches that suffering arises from our attachment to temporary experiences and when we refuse to change. Imagine you're holding a balloon. You really want it to stay inflated because it brings you joy. But balloons are naturally leaky. And eventually, yours will start to lose air. If you clench your fist around it tightly, trying to force it to stay full, you'll only make it worse. The balloon will pop, and you'll be left feeling even sadder. This is kind of like how we experience suffering in life. We get attached to things like the balloon and we want them to stay just the way we like them. We want delicious food, sunny days, and perfect moments. But just like the balloon, these things are naturally impermanent. They change. They fade. And sometimes they disappear altogether. When we cling to these things too tightly and resist change, it's like squeezing the balloon. We create tension and frustration. And eventually, the suffering pops out. But there is a way to let go of the balloon and still enjoy it. Mindfulness is like gently holding the balloon without squeezing. We can appreciate its beauty and lightness without getting attached to it, staying inflated forever. We can watch it float and bob, knowing that even when it eventually deflates, there will be other balloons, other joys to experience. Mindfulness is a practice of observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment, it's like watching clouds drift across the sky. We see the anger, the disappointment, the craving, but we don't get caught up in them. We simply notice them and then let them go. The more we practice mindfulness, the weaker our attachments become. It's like slowly letting go of the balloon string. We may still hold it loosely, but we're not afraid of it deflating anymore. <sighs> we know that even if it does, we'll be okay. And when we're not attached to things, we're free. We're free to enjoy the good moments when they come. And we're free to let go of the bad moments when they pass. We find peace and happiness within ourselves, no matter what the outside world throws our way. Take a few deep breaths and gently observe your thoughts and feelings. Don't judge them. Just let them be. And as you practice, you might just find that the balloon starts to float a little higher 
and your grip gets a little looser. 2. Mindfulness lights up our choices. Mindfulness shines a light on our minds. We become aware of our thoughts, emotions, and bodily sensations as they arise, noticing how they influence each other and shape our experiences. This self-awareness empowers us to make conscious choices rather than acting on them. This is the power of self-awareness that mindfulness brings. It's not about controlling your thoughts or forcing them to be perfect. It's simply about seeing them for what they are, understanding their patterns, and choosing how you want to respond. It's like having a wise friend whispering in your ear, saying, hey, look at what's happening within you, and then choose what's best for you right now. This clarity also helps you align your choices with your deeper values and goals. Imagine you value kindness and compassion. Through mindfulness, you become aware of any unkind thoughts or actions that might slip through without you noticing. You see how words can hurt, how gossip can spread, and how your actions can impact others. This awareness empowers you to speak with gentleness, spread positivity, and live a life that truly reflects your values. Imagine you're in a dark room trying to find your way. You bump into things, you stumble, you feel lost. It's scary and frustrating, right? That's kind of like our minds can be full of confusing thoughts and feelings. Like shadows dancing in the darkness. We react without thinking. We get swept away by our emotions. And we end up doing things we don't really want to do. But there's a way to turn on the light in our minds. It's called mindfulness. And it's like a special switch that shines a gentle glow on everything inside us. We see our thoughts like butterflies flitting around. We feel our emotions like waves washing over us. And here's the cool part. When we see these things clearly, we don't have to get caught up in them. We can watch them come and go, like clouds in the sky. We can choose not to react impulsively. This is the magic of self-awareness. It's like knowing what's happening inside you, not just blindly following your feelings. It's like having a wise friend inside your head, whispering, Hey, look at what's going on. What do you want to do about it? It's like having two voices inside you. One yelling and pulling you in one direction. And another calm and guiding you in the right direction. The more you practice mindfulness, the stronger the calm voice gets, helping you choose what's truly good for you. This clarity also helps you align your choices with your deeper values and goals. Imagine you value kindness and compassion through mindfulness. You become aware of any unkind thoughts or actions that might slip through without you noticing. You see how words can hurt how gossip can spread, and how your actions can impact others. 
This awareness empowers you to speak with gentleness, spread positivity, and live a life that truly reflects your values. So why not try turning on the light in your mind today? Take a few deep breaths. Notice your thoughts and feelings and let yourself see what's really going on inside you. You might be surprised by what you discover. 3. Mindfulness calms our emotions. Our emotions can be like wild horses, pulling us in unexpected directions. When anger arises, we don't get swept away by its flood. Instead, we pause, observe its strength, and choose a response guided by wisdom, like turning the horse towards gentle paths instead of reckless charges. This leads to greater inner peace and stability, allowing us to face life's challenges with calmness. Imagine you're playing in the park, having fun with your friends. Suddenly, someone takes your favorite toy. You feel like a volcano about to erupt. Your face gets hot. Your fists clench. And you want to scream. That's how anger can feel sometimes. Big, loud, and scary. Our feelings can be like wild animals roaming inside us. Just like a lion might roar or a monkey might screech, anger can make us yell or stomp our feet. We might say things we don't mean or do things we regret later. But here's the good news. Just like we can learn to train animals, we can also learn to manage our feelings. And mindfulness is like a kind and gentle trainer, helping us understand our emotions and choose how to react. When anger starts to bubble up, instead of letting it explode, mindfulness helps us take a break. We take a few deep breaths and watch the anger like a cloud passing in the sky. We notice how our body feels Maybe our tummy tightens or our head aches. By observing our anger without judgment, we stop being its puppet. We realize it's just a feeling, like a wave crashing on the beach, and it will eventually go away. We can be like a wise owl, sitting calmly on a branch, watching the storm pass, until it's safe to fly again. This calmness gives us the power to choose what to do next. Instead of yelling at our friend, we can say, hey, I'm feeling really mad because you took my toy. Can we talk about it? Or if we need more time to calm down, we can take a walk or listen to calming music. It's like having a choice. We can either scream like a lion and scare everyone away, or we can take a deep breath and meow like a kitten, asking for what we need in a gentle way. Mindfulness helps us choose the meow most of the time. Feeling angry is okay. It's part of being human. But mindfulness helps us feel the anger without letting it control us. We can still have fun and be good friends, even when we feel like grumpy lions sometimes. So next time you feel like a volcano about to erupt, take a deep breath. Remember your kind and gentle trainer, mindfulness, and choose to be the brave and wise explorer of your own feelings. You might be surprised at the calmness and peace you find inside. 4. Sharpen the mind's focus. In our fast-paced world, distractions come our way. 
Our minds jump from one thought to another like monkeys in a jungle, never truly settling. Mindfulness trains our attention to become like a laser beam. This improved focus translates into greater productivity, better learning, and a deeper appreciation for the simple joys of everyday life. Imagine drinking a warm cup of cocoa. Instead of mindlessly gulping it down, we become aware of the steam dancing in the air. The rich chocolate aroma. The comforting warmth in our hands. We truly taste the sweetness. Making a simple cup of cocoa a mini-adventure for our senses. Feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin or listening to the melody of a bird's song, all enhanced by the mindful focus that brings us fully into the present experience. E. Our world is like a giant playground, full of exciting things to see and do. We bounce from one activity to another, trying to explore it all at once. But sometimes, it's like having too many toys. We get overwhelmed and confused, forgetting what we were even playing with. Our minds can be like that too. We jump from one thought to another, worrying about schoolwork, planning what to eat, all at the same time. It's like having a hundred monkeys jumping around in our heads, chattering and swinging on our attention. But there's a special skill we can learn that helps us tame these monkeys and focus on one thing at a time. It's called mindfulness. And it's like being a gentle trainer teaching the monkeys to sit still and listen. Mindfulness helps us bring our attention back to the present moment, to what's happening right now. It's like stopping in the middle of the playground and taking a deep breath. We notice the bright sunshine on our faces, the sound of children laughing, the feeling of the grass under our feet. We let go of all the other thoughts and just focus on this wonderful moment. When we train our minds with mindfulness, it's like sharpening a pencil tip. We become clearer, sharper thinkers. We can focus better on our schoolwork, remember things more easily and learn new things faster. It's like turning on a bright light in our minds, helping us see everything more clearly and understand things better. Not only does mindfulness help us learn and work, but it also makes us appreciate the simple joys of everyday life. Imagine sitting down to a delicious dinner. Instead of rushing through it, mindfulness invites us to take a bite, close our eyes, and really savor the taste. We notice the sweetness of the sauce, the crispness of the vegetables, the warmth of the food filling our bellies, it's like enjoying a mini party in our mouths. Or when we take a walk outside. Mindfulness helps us listen to the birds singing. Feel the gentle breeze on our skin and watch the clouds drift by in the sky. It's like opening our hearts to the beauty of nature, filling us with happiness and peace. Mindfulness isn't about forcing your mind to be blank, or eliminating thoughts altogether. It's about gently observing those thoughts. We simply notice, ah, here's a worry about tomorrow's test, or ooh, that's a tempting thought about cookies. Then we let them go, like leaves carried away by the wind, and return our attention to the present moment. This shift in focus brings amazing benefits, Imagine you're trying to solve a puzzle. With a monkey mind, you jump from piece to piece, never seeing the bigger picture. But with mindfulness, you focus on one piece at a time, observing its shape, color, and how it fits with others. Suddenly, the solution clicks into place. This enhanced focus translates to everything we do, from mastering a new skill to finishing a school project. It's like a magnifying glass, giving us a clear, uncluttered view of the task at hand, making it easier to learn, create, and succeed. 
So next time you feel your mind bouncing like a monkey, take a deep breath and remember your inner treasure map, mindfulness. Gently guide your attention back to the present moment and open yourself to the riches of focused awareness. You might be surprised at the hidden gems you discover, not just in the world around you, but within yourself too. 5. Embracing the flow of change Life is a river, constantly flowing, changing, transforming. Mindfulness helps us accept the impermanent nature of all things, including our own thoughts and emotions. Like leaves carried by the river, we learn to flow with the current finding peace and acceptance in the constant dance of change. This brings a sense of inner stability, allowing us to face life's uncertainties with grace and openness. Imagine you're building a sandcastle on the beach, tall and proud with beautiful towers and sparkly seashells. It's perfect, just the way you want it, but then the waves come rolling in, washing over your castle, leaving only puddles and scattered sand. Our lives can be like that sandcastle sometimes. We make plans, build relationships, imagine everything staying the same forever. But just like the waves, change is always coming. Seasons change, people grow and move on. Even our own thoughts and feelings come and go. Clinging to things being a certain way is like trying to hold back the waves with your hands. It's impossible and only leads to disappointment. But there's good news. We can learn to dance with the waves instead of fighting them. Mindfulness is like wearing special goggles that let you see the water clearly, see it flowing, understand its power. You realize the waves aren't trying to ruin your fun. They're just part of the ocean, always moving always changing. With mindfulness, we see that everything changes. Our moods, our bodies, even the world around us. It's not good or bad, it's just the way things are, like day and night, like the turning of the seasons. When we accept this, it's like building your sandcastle on a rock instead of the sand. The waves might come, but your foundation stays strong. This acceptance brings peace and calm. We let go of the frustration of wanting things to be different, and instead, we enjoy the flow of life. Imagine floating on a gentle river, feeling the cool water around you, watching the scenery change as you drift along. It's relaxing. With this new peace, we face life's changes with grace and openness. We're not scared of the unknown anymore, we see it as an exciting adventure. When things don't go our way, we don't crumble. We simply adjust our sails and keep sailing. So, let go of your sandcastle expectations and step onto the river of life. Embrace the flow, enjoy the changing scenery, and remember. Like the calm river beneath the waves, there's a deep peace within you that always remains, no matter what tide comes your way. Imagine life like a bustling marketplace. People come and go, things change hands, and the days spin by as quickly as market vendors hawking their wares. We might wish for everything to stay still, familiar, just the way we like it. But just like the market closes each night, everything changes, even our own thoughts and feelings. Buddhism teaches us to find peace in this constant flow. It's not about stopping the market. But understanding its rhythm, seeing things clearly, and learning to be kind to ourselves and others amidst the bustle. The Buddha, a wise teacher from long ago, discovered that suffering, unhappiness, worry, frustration, comes from clinging to things we can't control. We hold on to ideas about how things should be, but the market keeps changing. Just like the weather or the leaves on a tree. When we cling too tightly, it's like grabbing at a passing cart. We only bump and bruise ourselves. Mindfulness is the key to letting go. It's like taking a quiet breath, slowing down in the busy marketplace, and gently observing our thoughts and feelings without holding on to them. We see our worries, our joys, our anger, just like people passing by, 
each on their own journey. We realize they're temporary, and so is our suffering. With this understanding, we can choose to act differently. Instead of getting swept away by anger at a grumpy customer, we can take a deep breath and choose kindness. Instead of feeling lost in the overwhelming crowd, we can offer compassion to ourselves and others. This isn't just about feeling good within the market. When we act with kindness, it spreads like smiles exchanged between strangers. A helping hand to a lost shopper, a patient listening ear for a worried merchant, even a tiny act of generosity can make a difference. Oh. X, mindfulness blossoms into compassion. As we practice mindfulness, we not only become aware of our own suffering, but also the suffering of others. We see the shared human experience, the universal struggles and joys, and this understanding develops a genuine desire to alleviate suffering. This compassion isn't just a feeling, it's a force that empowers us to act with kindness and generosity making a positive impact on the world around us. Whether it's a smile to a stranger, a helping hand to a neighbor, or volunteering for a cause we care about, each act of compassion ripples outward, making the world a little brighter. As we practice mindfulness, we realize something amazing. Even though we might look different and have different lives, we all share the same human experience. We all feel happy, sad, worried, or excited. We all face challenges and long for connection. This understanding is like fertile soil for the seed of compassion to grow. We start to feel a real desire to help others, to ease their suffering and bring them joy, just like we'd want someone to do for us. Compassion isn't just a warm feeling, though it feels good inside. It's a powerful force that pushes us to act in kind and generous ways. It's like the sun shining on our sunflower, giving it the energy to grow tall and strong. Imagine small acts of kindness. Like sharing your lunch with a hungry classmate, helping an elderly person cross the street, or writing a card to someone feeling down. These might seem like little things, but just like a single ray of sunshine, they can make a big difference in someone's day. And here's the amazing part. When we act with compassion, it doesn't stop there. It's like throwing a pebble in a pond. The ripples spread outward, touching more and more people. Imagine your kind smile to a stranger turning into a friendly conversation. Or your helping hand inspiring someone else to volunteer. Even the smallest act of compassion can create a chain reaction of kindness, making the world a little brighter, one smile, one helping hand at a time. Imagine this. You're in a big, noisy room, filled with people talking. Things happening, thoughts bouncing around in your head. It's hard to focus, hard to feel calm. Sometimes our lives are like that, busy, confusing, even overwhelming. Buddhism teaches a way to find peace in all that noise. It's not about blocking it out, but about seeing it clearly. Understanding it, and learning to be kind to ourselves and others in the midst of it all. The Buddha, a wise teacher from long ago, discovered that suffering, unhappiness, worry, frustration comes from clinging to things we can't control. We want things to be a certain way, but they change all the time, just like the weather or the leaves on a tree. When we hold on too tightly, it's like clenching our fists at the wind. It only hurts us. Mindfulness is the key to letting go. It's like taking a quiet breath, calming our minds, and gently observing our thoughts and feelings without judging them. We see our worries, our joys, our anger, just like clouds passing in the sky. We realize they're temporary, and so is our suffering. With this understanding, we can choose to act differently. Instead of getting swept away by anger, we can take a deep breath and choose kindness. Instead of clinging to sadness, we can offer compassion to ourselves and others. This isn't just about feeling good inside. When we act with kindness, it spreads like ripples in a pond. 
A smile to a stranger, a helping hand to a friend, even a tiny act of generosity can make a difference. We might not change the whole world, but we can brighten the corner we're in. 7. Awakening the Inner Knowing Deep within us lies a reservoir of wisdom far beyond the reach of our everyday thoughts and judgments. Mindfulness acts as a key, unlocking this inner knowing and allowing it to guide our choices and actions. This innate wisdom isn't about intellectual knowledge, it's about a deep understanding of ourselves and the surroundings around us. Imagine you're lost in a big forest. Trees tower above you, blocking the sun, and paths twist and turn, confusing you further. You might feel scared, unsure which way to go. But deep inside, within the darkness, there's a tiny lantern. Your inner knowing, it whispers gentle hints, guides you towards the light. Our lives can be like that forest sometimes. We face choices, big and small, feeling lost or unsure. We rely on our thinking minds, weighing pros and cons, getting tangled in thoughts. But just like the lantern in the forest, we have a reservoir of inner wisdom, always there, waiting to be tapped into. Mindfulness is like lighting a match, gently illuminating the forest paths within us. We take a deep breath, quiet our racing thoughts, and listen for the soft whispers of our inner knowing. It's not about loud voices or sudden revelations, but a quiet, intuitive sense of what feels right, what aligns with our deepest needs and values. This inner knowing isn't about knowing facts or figures. It's about understanding ourselves at a deeper level, feeling what resonates with our hearts, what brings us peace and joy. It's like a compass pointing us towards a life that feels good, true, and authentic. For example, imagine you're choosing a career path. The pressure to follow certain paths might be loud, but deep inside, there might be a quiet feeling, maybe excitement about working with animals, or contentment in creating things with your hands. Mindfulness helps you hear these whispers, to understand what truly brings you alive, beyond the external pressures. Or imagine you're navigating a conflict with a friend, your emotions might be swirling, but when you quiet down and listen with a mindful heart, you might sense a gentle nudge towards forgiveness or a clear boundary that needs to be set. This inner knowing guides you not just for your own good, but for the good of the relationship as well. So light the match of mindfulness and step into the forest of your inner world. Trust the gentle whispers of your knowing and let them guide you on your life's journey. You might be surprised at the peace, joy, and authenticity you discover when you walk by the light within. May your journey be filled with blossoming intuition, growing inner wisdom, and the ever-expanding light that leads you on a path true to yourself, always illuminated by the gentle flame of knowing within. Let's hear a story before we end. In a vibrant village, there lived Tashi, a curious boy with eyes the color of morning dew. Every day, a gentle melody led him to the quiet temple near the waterfall. There, beneath the shade of an ancient banyan tree, sat Master Lin, a monk with a smile as warm as sunshine. One day, Tashi, troubled by a fight with his friend, approached Master Lin. Why did my friend say hurtful things? He asked, his voice trembling like a butterfly's wings. Master Lin, with eyes as calm as the temple pond, listened patiently. Then, he gently plucked a fallen leaf from the ground. See this leaf, Tashi, he said, holding it up to the sunlight. Before it fell, it was part of the strong branch, alive and green. But now, it's separate, floating on the wind. Tashi tilted his head, a frown furrowing his brow. What does that mean? Master Lin smiled. Just like the leaf separated from the branch. Sometimes hurtful words separate us from loved ones. But those words, like the wind, are just passing by. They don't define who we are or who our friends are. 
Tashi pondered this, the monk's words settling in his heart like calm pebbles in a rushing stream. So my friend is still my friend, even if he said those things? Master Lin nodded. Just like the branch remains strong even after the leaf falls. True friendships weather storms of words. The important thing is to remember your love for each other. Just like the branch remembers the leaf that once grew on it. Tashi felt a warm glow spread through him, chasing away the clouds of his worry. He thanked Master Lin and skipped back to the village, carrying the monk's wisdom like a precious treasure. The next day, he found his friend by the river and with a shy smile extended a hand in reconciliation. His friend, with a smile as bright as the sun, took it. And their laughter echoed through the village, weaving a new melody of friendship stronger than any hurtful word. And so Tashi learned that day that while words can sting like fallen leaves, the bond of true friendship, like the roots of the banyan tree, reaches deep and remains steadfast, ever ready to blossom anew. The gentle teachings of Master Lin, simple yet profound, continued to guide Tashi on his journey, reminding him that kindness and understanding are the seeds of lasting happiness. Not just in friendships, but in every step of life.